and you know all that kind of stuff and you know I'm, I'm used to studying so it's like it's nothing to me to study i like studying yeah i noticed the other day you uh during daytime you just you know you're reading so that's why you know i started following i remember stuff now i don't even have to take notes anymore it got down to the point where i just i mean i got a few little references here i got a couple you know like uh what do you call that what's it called some bible dictionary some old one i can't remember the name of it a couple things but i i got down to a bible a dictionary a concordance and that's what i've been using since my late 20s i don't hardly ever read anybody's brothers oh, hold on so, sorry to interrupt you david but brothers yeah, what are ahead. you guys doing like talking to no, the clown what are you doing what graham and kevin like why are you bothering with that kind of a discussion with that kind of a person come on guys this is Kind of silly. May I weigh in really quick here, Dave? Because I can't. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, 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 Nick, Nick, who, what, what do you? I, I don't understand what, what you mean. It's just going on inside chat. I'm just talking to Kevin. Oh, I don't even, don't even, don't even, don't let that even. Uh, just, I leave side well, that, chat. That's what I'm, Can I weigh in really say. quick? I'm like, come on. First guys, of all, Nick, not you're not that. even, you're not even competent to even publicly teach in here. You should be fucking ousted in this, in this uh, uh, stream. Praise. Okay, uh, first off, language. Uh, You're a biblical God, illiterate. Okay, you should friends, not be go, teaching in here, Nick. It. Get okay, out of here. Piss off. Go ahead and prove it instead of asserting it. I, I don't have a problem. You already did prove you it. You're a, you're a free gracer. What, what else do we need to prove? You've disqualified <sighs> yourself. That's well, why. Why would you come in and, and do that? Well, why would he Bob, come at Gavin and have hey, and actually come at him? I didn't okay. you know he Gavin. actually Gavin, is pushing Gavin. 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 Tom, He's going to have a um, public like trial on, on Gavin Hurlman. Do you believe this shit? I, I don't know about these things. Bob, oh, Bob. yeah. See, Bob, you don't know we, we about these things. Just Tom like your God doesn't be, know things. Guys, we should either not let Tom talk or I should be allowed to talk with him. But if it's more than just the two of us, it's going to get really chaotic. Tom, if you guys um, can... You told me Gavin wanted to debate me, and I said I won't debate him because he's unqualified unless he wants to debate whether or not he's qualified. And I didn't expect him to take me up on it. I wouldn't debate someone like that, but he took me up on it. I, my first inclination was just to not debate him. I did it all in peaceful, nice agreement and stuff. And Gavin just emailed me today. He said it's rescheduled. Gavin and I are good. I don't even know what you're going on about. You're being very... No, you're the one everything. that actually... You, you put a stink into it because you says I used the word slag, which you even had no context behind it. I said in a spiritual sense, these people are slags. And you thought that I, all of a sudden, that I'm disqualified for being a moderator in my channel. No, I that said is, I won't that appear on disgusting. your channel. It was abusive. You were calling her a slag over That's, and over and over. I guess it's abusive for said, God to call people's whores then in the, in the New Testament, Old Testament. Well, yeah, but you were saying it about this person over and over again just to be a so does God. in some kind of weird way. I don't, yeah, I mean, Tom, what you were doing is just as a Christian, I can't go on your channel if you were just doing that a few days ago. I don't just go on channels where people are abused and I know about it. And then See, I just go on a few days later as if it never happened. Your behavior was not Christian. That's on you, Then you're Tom. saying it's that God is, me. you're it's saying God's not. behavior isn't, and then you're saying that God's behavior is not good enough for you then. Because well, I don't think, he I don't calls think people whores, like Nick. By having that woman on the screen. You didn't even let her finish her point. At the end of the video, she talked about how Christians are to do good works, but you didn't even let her say that. You, you misrepresented her and you were accusing her. Nicholas. It was absurd, man. And you're trying you to. Why would you come class, in Nicholas. and take this as the way you're going to act Get like you're saved, a Christian? Nick. You're acting Get like you're saved. not a you're Christian. That's what it looks gospel. like to us. You still haven't found the gospel, you piece of trash. That's your problem. You have no clue what the gospel is. That's why you're defending swine and slags. You're an idiot, Nicholas. You want to talk about someone who's disqualified? You're theologically incompetent. You're a child. But okay, those are those are just insults. You have arguments. Shut up, Bob. Um, they don't want to get in arguments with me. The thing is, Smokey knows I won't argue with him on theology because he knows I know he's disqualified. But at the same oh, time, he wouldn't want to. Do. He knows I would run circles around him like he's nothing. He doesn't even study the Bible, really. This is just dumb. I know, I know ten times what you do, child. So I see Smokey has not changed. You know what, Bob? I got something for you too, bitch boy. You know what? I don't want to hear you coming in these rooms and talking about how you're so sanctified and holy that you need to police other people's speech. Because guess what? 
you say profane things about the holy God and insulting his character and rebelling against his word with your damnable open theism. So I don't want to hear one damn word out of your filthy fucking mouth. Smokey, what are you, Smokey I, I do you want to ask you, Josh, what are you doing here? Because I, I, I really have pretty much yeah, forgotten lost, you. Nick. I've so forgotten you, Josh. You're a fucking failure at life and the faith. Get lost then. Why don't you forget me like I've forgotten you? You know? Why do you, you call me a pedophile, Nick? You. Me, man. You, Just leave. I was, what, I was here first. If you, here you first. if you were what, here first, Josh, I would not have come in. Why don't you just leave? Why can't you forget me? You're what easy to forget. Why don't you forget me? Why did you call Smokey a pedophile without any evidence? What evidence do you have to to make to validate that? Oh, not gonna yeah, I'm not going to bother. Because you can't, because you're not a pastor, you're not a teacher, you're not your own ecumenical council, and no one needs to give a damn what you think about anyone as being qualified or not. You have zero authority, you have zero right. You're a stupid, idiot, spurgy child. And okay, let's right let God you. show that of me you then. God can tear me down. House. Okay. Why don't you live? Why don't you learn how to live your own life? Before you go around trying to police others on theirs, you worthless, leeching little fag. Why, Smokey? Do you, do you have an argument? Things, do you have well, a case I appreciate to bring? It, I want to say though, I want to respond. He was talking about me. I've never pleased people on things that like I don't please myself on. That's just an absurdity. I don't go around pleasing people on being responsible with their income and not. Um, relying on the generosity of a very low rent so that they can do a period of whatever, you know, like as far as responsibility on the pragmatic level, I mean, I don't pretend to be that at all. I don't even know what you're talking about acting like I police people on those things. That's silly. I, I'm saying you go around and police people what they, what they should or shouldn't be doing or sharing their faith, Nicholas, and you have no right. You have no right. You can't even make a biblical case against Gavin, me, or anyone else. You just sit there and whine like the stupid little incompetent child you are. You're not even a Christian. You Smokey, don't even have the, the real gospel yet. The biblical debate is over. I already did it. And that's why you're here like a crying tantrum baby because you know you lost the debate and it's already over. I did it what on my own channel. I didn't need your help. You're an idiot, Nicholas. You're a stupid child. You know that? Okay, well, I said what I have to say about you, and I'm satisfied with it. And it sounds like, um, sounds like you're making it obvious well, that what? I was right. You know what? You got an. You got an. Open Why wouldn't you just tell. ignore me if I'm so? If well, I was tell so you what, you got said, it. Well, you no, just because, ignore because it. Why you, are you doing this? Because this? because Nicholas, because you are garbage, and garbage needs to be put in the can. And I'll tell you what, you got an open debate challenge to you from Dr. Kenny Rhodes about whether or not Smokey is qualified for ministry. You can pick the forum. And the time, and he's going to uh, show up. And no, I don't that have that you. debate. Based off of your language, I, I would suspect that you're not. I don't qualified. do business with you, Josh. So he's not challenging me to the debate by sending someone I don't do business with to talk to me. That's not a way to challenge me to a debate. You're never... a coward. You're a coward, and you're a slanderer, accuser, assumptive, wicked, vile, and idiotic. You make judgments and rash decisions amen. based on limited information. You're what a vile. That is amen. About anybody. You're a this little cockroach. Well, Bob. You're a do you know what idiot. Nicholas said about Smokey? He said he was a pedophile. He never justified that. That's a slander. He needs evidence. He needs at least two witnesses to, to prove something. Come on. That is slander, man. Yes, everything okay. that Smokey just said is true. Go cower in your race card bed in your parents' house, you little bitch manlet. You want everyone to elucidate on their lives in full detail? Why don't you tell the whole world the full story about how you used to beat women 
and had to go to anger management then. If you want to make lives and channels and existences about that, why don't you tell yeah, the that, full that, tale? Yeah, that's part of my testimony. Why don't you tell the full tale? I, I'm in the open about it. It's part of my testimony. It was I from before I was it. saved. I it was only it. one woman. It wasn't multiple women. But um, How do I know that? How do I know that? You're a liar. Does it matter if it was multiple well, I mean, women? And well, then what do you mean? Jesus How do you know that? that? You're the one of... talking. If you're the one talking, you have to own it. Well, Nicholas, you're the one trying to slander everyone and delve into people's past and attempt to spread well, around just... docs and think that you're righteous. You're not. You're an evil, vile, wicked little demon. Well, all I know is what the evidence looks like and that you lied because apparently you needed to cover it up. That's all we know is what it looks like. That's on you. So, Nick. If if I can get through this sentence, um, the the only the thing that I was thinking is potentially because you guys have some issue, maybe a mediator would be appropriate. No, no, there's no that, mediator. That's all I'm I, not dealing I with really them. wish Bob. They're would just shut coming up. in here being belligerent. I really I'm not wish deal with Bob them. would shut the hell up. Like for like I the was rest in of here the first. Here. Like like we were I, having a peaceful conversation, trying to Bob. study the word of God. And it Bob, was a good conversation. Bob. And then Tom came in here and, and started accusing Nick yeah, of stuff. Okay, well, you know what, Bob, well, Tom is insecure about his misbehavior and he's trying to put it on me. So no, yeah. My concern. You impugn me, Nick. There was absolutely no justification to impugn me like that. That's just to leverage yourself over me to make yourself look more self-righteous. That's well, what I'm Tom, talking about. That's my Christian standard. If you want to pull up the Bible, how my Christian standard is wrong. Then impugn God go himself, you fraud. No, that is so that, that is so hypo hypocritical. Well, 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 God calls the people name whores. The channel I go on where I'm totally fine with them putting a woman on screen not letting her represent her doctrine i covered over an hour for what are you talking spy. about nick i had it over the, but you didn't let the video finish when she goes you know you took over an hour to not even do the whole video and to constantly call her a slag then you emailed me and said that by slag you meant dross so i had to tell you no you specified in a spiritual even, way yes it works that way you specified yes. you could go as far as to say slag whore so don't lie to my face about what you meant by it, it. doesn't you matter what you it meant doesn't by matter. it if you condemn that you condemn the prophets you evil little demon they used that. Oh, no, no, they were. They did not put a woman on screen. You defend yourself, you stupid. If rodent. you could show me where a prophet took a single individual woman, put her on stage, and called her specifically a slag over and over in front of a crowd, misrepresenting what she was he saying. If you could show me where a prophet did that, that you might have a case. The you guys are false equating your sin with God, the Lord idiot. Jesus Christ. You're an idiot. Me. He calls You're people whores, Nick. What do you have your head up your ass? Come on, man. Name man. one person Jesus called a whore. You're an absolute hey, No, no. Smokey, shut up. Let Tom name a human being. Revelation. The Lord Spiritual Jesus Christ whore. No, Israel. no, that is the whore Babylon, the Catholic Romanist sect. That is not an individual person. Tell me an individual person the Lord Jesus Christ called a whore because you put those words in his mouth, quote it from the Bible. It still works in a, in a systematic way. It's God, free you grace, You are so willing to justify the your own sin. You're blaspheming God he like it's nothing. He you guys need okay. to stop. Okay, listen to this. Listen um, to this. I need to talk. Um, I need to respond. Shut up, Bob. I need yeah. to respond. He called a whole Why? corporate group of people, what are you, including, he women, even talking including to you. women, a bunch of spiritual whores, because that's what they were. And that's what you are, Nick. And that's what Chelsea Bedell is. And the rest of the free gracers. They're a bunch of whores that have sold themselves out to a false gospel just like you. You're not even saved yet, Nick. That's why you act like a self-righteous, pious little prick and a stupid little accusing. Spot on. Demon. Spot on. All right. So what is the true gospel, Smokey? It ain't the free grace one, Bob. That's not what I asked. What? What I'm is it? it a million Can you tell me? Yet. It's that Christ, Christ came to earth. Oh, guys, if Father, we're doing doctrine with Smokey, oh, so I'm going to leave. I don't leave. get to answer then? Okay, no, I guess hold I on, to... Nick. No, I no, want to hear what he or thinks I'll just leave. I'm just letting Bob know. If we're doing doctrine with someone like Smokey, that is not a Christian way to do doctrine. I'll leave. Oh, why is that, Nick? I'm not allowed to have a belief? Because you, you lied to everyone belief? and you won't repent You're about your lie. Are you the man on the Jesse Lee Peterson show? I know. Uh, Did you grow up in a Jehovah's Witness household? No, you have all the traits of a sinner.
and yet you claim to be a Christian. Are you the man on the Jesse Lee Peterson show? I no, I'm not. See, I don't lie. I don't need to lie and fabricate crap. Okay, that lie disqualifies you. You cannot perpetually no, lie. lie. We know you lie. are that and man. It, then show up and debate Kenny on it. Then show up and debate Kenny on it if you're well, so sure. Kenny has something to say to me. He can say it. I don't do no, business with you. He's ready to you. debate you, bitch. He's ready to debate you on your favorite topic, whether or not... If I'm he is, then he can ministry. tell me. I don't do business with you. I don't do business with you. He challenged you the other night. I don't. Smoking I have no lunch. idea what you're talking you're about. Not, okay, he is not, not telling me. I you're don't care leader, what Nick. you say. If he has you're something to say to me, I'll talk to him. Nick, you're not a minister. You're so not. So what a is the what is Where's the gospel? I'm okay, allowed so I, to share my faith. I am going to leave because, because you guys are commanded. talking doctrine with him. You know what? Uh, I am still home to the true brethren. You, you disgusting little shit. And you know what? I was told, oh, run. Run, you what a coward. coward. Yeah, he bows that like he just rage quits. Yeah. Commission to share my faith. I was told by the Great Commission, and I'm not going to be stopped or Tom. limited by that squirty right. little demonic bitch, Nicholas. Tom. Can't, even, can't even live his own life, can't even move out of his parents' house, but he's going to police other men on, on their own. Right. Let Bob say something. Yeah. Let Bob say something. Let me hear what he has to say. Go, Bob. Tom, he made his point that he didn't want to talk to Smokey about doctrinal issues. Now, I have Does that make any sense while. to you, Bob, that he doesn't want to share the truth with me? He wants me cast out into outer darkness. Does that sound like a legitimate That's pretense? I'm sorry, Bob. I, I count that as pretense. I don't think anything he says is genuine. I don't I can't. I don't see it. He's and he's gonna I'm gonna have to gain he's gonna have listening. to gain my trust on that. Okay, look. You know, guys, Nicholas hold on. I I, th I think hold on, future, wait, and Smokey, wait, me. wait, wait. Now you can have disagreements and stuff, but I think the way oh, that you're talking to each up, other is Kevin. disgusting. No, 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 no. It's disgusting because we're not supposed to have you're follow communication. Kevin, Kev you're not even Christian either. You're another one. What of are the you talking about? Graces. I affirm the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, you what do you affirm? Grace, you dumb. Bitch. My sheep hear you're my voice. Saved. They follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. Shut up, Kevin. Romans ten wait, nine through thirteen. If you confess your mouth, the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I Demons do affirm the gospel, the gospel Smokey. Too, don't you dare lie about me and slander me. You don't know Demons me. I do understand and I do Kevin. proclaim the biblical gospel. Yeah, that's a lie. Well, yeah, shut up. No, you so, shut the um, So, you, news? News? Are you still no, around? This is ridiculous oh, because yeah, why is this behavior shut allowed? The hell you up, you Kevin. guys claim to be Christians and you guys sitting here. And, right and curse and, Kevin, and act like the world. Kevin, you're not even saved. You're not even a Christian. You don't even. What are have you talking right about? I trust Jesus Christ. You don't even have the right God. I trust Jesus. Christian. Do you trust Jesus Christ, Judge? Do you trust Jesus Christ? Do you trust Jesus Christ, Kevin? Your your questions do don't matter. Do you trust Jesus Christ? Yes. See, I don't lie. And you and you. Why trust, are you, you accusing you, me you of not trusting Jesus Christ? Why are you Jesus. accusing me of not trusting Jesus? Because you trust a fake. Because you won't let me finish, you stupid bitch. You just want to ask the same. Okay, well, if you're gonna talk to me like that, I'm not gonna talk to you, Josh. So uh, news. Well, that, again, um, did you see what they do? This is not my name. See, I don't lie. This is the only thing they can do. They go around and they want to slander and lie and jump on assumptions that was started by a Satanist. That's how you, you know come in here and you start spouting Smith. Uh, work with demons. Phil, they Smokey. literally work like, with don't. demons and yeah. then post your self righteousness. Hey, so news. I think yeah, yeah, right. this is my opinion based off of my experience with these two individuals. If you remove Smokey from the equation, Ridiculous. praise will be reasonable. Bob, I know, I know you're trying to run from me too, but trust me, you're on the menu too. You spurred so much. See, see that, that's he all has you to do frame is throw it insults. Can you deal with Bob's arguments and stop insulting him? Like, I agree, open theism is heresy, but are, are, you, are you just going to make fun I of him? Or are you actually going to deal with these arguments? Months ago, I tried to walk him through it. I was even patient about it. The man is a stupid. No, you were not. Moral. You were immediately I, mocking him. Okay, listen, Smokey. I agree, open theism is heresy, but is calling him names really going to accomplish anything? What is it going to accomplish? Yes, it lets everyone know to not be a 
disgusting, worthless, pathetic twat like him believing stupid shit that can't be biblically justified. Well, hold on. But how is you calling him names ever going to get him to see your side? He won't. Like, we've already been down that road. He's now nothing more than a cautionary tale, Kevin. I've been clear about that. And how do you know that? Because we have all tried with him, and he wants to be an open, okay. theist, profaning God. Okay. Well, how, wait, 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 Smokey. Wait, wait. I how do you him. know? No, how do okay, you know wait, the wait, Holy wait, Spirit wait, hasn't wait, been working on. and dealing Look, with him? On guys, how do you guys, know that? wait a minute. Everybody needs to understand this. I, I did not want to be an open theist. I fought it. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. stop, Smokey. Listen, Bob, to you're, you know, you're listen an idiot. to me, Bob. Bob, it Please. is a false doctrine, man. It is. Maybe it is. It, no, it still, definitely, it definitely is. is. Will you listen to me? I don't really want to listen saying. to you, Bob. I hate your voice. I hate Smokey. your character, Smokey. Just, come on, man. I, Wait, you hate my character? Wow. Coming okay, from so you, 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 hate, you just broke the commandment. Like Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Are you loving your neighbor as yourself? If you truly love yes, Bob and you want him to be saved, why Bob don't you be charitable to him, listen to him, and actually deal with his with arguments? Exactly why do you always down. attack people? Why yeah, do you finish. always act like Satan? I'll, I'll answer the question if you'll shut the fuck up, Kevin. Don't talk to me like that, you there's fucking piece of shit. Suck my dick, Smokey. And that knows that you don't How about that one? Job, I can get mean too. I'm from New York, boy. I don't play. Shut up. You want me to get in the child. you want to get in the flesh, Smokey? Let's get in the flesh. Let's see who the little up, bitch you, you are. Fat, How about that? Let who you calling? Come say it to my face, buddy. I guarantee you ain't walking away, bro. Oh, I would. Oh, I would. No, you, you wouldn't. Fat, you couldn't touch me, dude. Water, dude. You probably never been in a fight in your life. No, I live in New York, bro. I fought every day from the sixth grade up. What you want to do, bro? Okay. Yeah, you say that, but I guarantee if you're right here, so, you wouldn't talk like that. The higher I guarantee you wouldn't. That I know that what you would do is you would use your your gentle emotional placations and conversation. No, no, no. Listen, Smokey, just because I'm a nice guy, don't get me wrong. You don't know me, bro. You don't know me, bro. You don't know me. And I don't like getting angry, and I don't like getting in the flesh, and I don't like fighting, but I have done it plenty of times, bro. You are nothing. You, you, you are nobody. Fat, you are a pathetic human being that is very insecure about yourself, and that's why you bash on others because it makes you feel no, better no, about no, your insecurity. No, I observe yes. what yes. failures you people are. No, no. Where, yeah. where is my failing, Josh? Where is my you're, failing? You're not. First of all, well, there's a, there's one right there. You're slandering and accusing me. I am not slandering you. Your name me. is Josh. Can no, I say it's something? Not. It's yes, it is. No, you can't, Bob. We're that was you on the Justin Peters show. Again, you're a liar. I don't think you're a Christian. Okay. Well, I think you I, pretended I, to be one. I'm enough in my faith, Jesse, where that, that critique doesn't really No, affect. because you act like a sinner, and yet you claim to be saved. Doing You're lying. What you just did right there, Kevin, what you just did right there was following the slander, assumption, and rumor that was put together by a Satanist, which means you're working with a Satanist. Who is means, a Satanist? Again, more evidence of you being a fraud. Who's a Satanist? What Satanist? Do I Brother to Kevin, leave this room. This you have been tempted to act That's in the flesh. Take for. my advice Shut and up, leave. Nicholas. You don't police anyone. Why don't you go call back in your race car bed, you spurgy little bitch? News, will you please, please? It, well, okay. Bob, I, I, I just poke up your Weasley head, trust me, and I'm allowed in the room. Yeah, I, I want you to know, as long as you hold this open theism, I will make you agree with stuff that show up says. and shame you, okay? You agree so with you stuff know, that Bray says. If you're going to start poking your Weasley head up in these environments again, you're not going to be safe from me if they're willing to let me in the room. So if you want to deal with me, deal with me. Don't run, because it'll just make you it You want to talk about open theism? It, it's, I mean, it, that sounds like it's something that's really big on your mind. You being someone going around in these communities trying to present it as a good idea and sound theology that solves problems of evil and philosophical conundrums. Yeah, Bob, I've I got never made those that. claims. I've never made those claims. Yeah, you do. It's your solution to Calvinism. And they're in. No, the that's a lie. That and yet you're a bigger Calvinist than they are, Bob. You haven't hey, thought Bob, it through. Bob, we talked about your incredible hatred to Calvinism and how it helped yes. give you justification to open theism as opposed to Arminianism, and you thought it solved issues that Calvinism presented, and you adopted it, and one of those problems that has an issue with Calvinism is the problem of evil, right? 
Well, no, I, I don't think it actually really solves anything. If God, this, this, is, this is me would coming you back it? at you later in my life. Why would you adopt it then, Bob? <laughs> what what value does it possibly have to you? I, I, I just, I, I don't have a good argument. I haven't heard a good argument that, that shows that it's false. It, it's How about really the idea that God can change his mind about eternal life? That his promises aren't really promises. That that's an argument that? from consequence. I don't accept that as a logical argument. Why Th not? That's my problem. Why not? You're saying that God can change his mind, so certainly he could change his mind about his promises, which means his yeah, promises if are my, immutable. Yeah, if my view is correct, then that's true. Yeah, and, and I, if, his promises if that's, aren't immutable, if that's, and eternal life what? can be revoked. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said last. What did you say? I said salvation can be revoked and eternal life can be revoked if that's true. It's not an immutable promise. Don't you think that's the case? No, I think it's an immutable promise. I think God keeps what he says. Well, then well, what is your argument with Nicholas? What are you talking? That's a completely different thing. Nicholas is a slandering, accusing, vile, wicked, assumptive little demon. No, no, no. Uh, he's been going around about the trying gospel. to slander and claim to dox me, and and also, by the way, trying to get people to harass my right. family. Okay, he's I'm been sorry. Actively trying to get people to harass my family, Bob. I, I, I'm, I'm okay. Fine. I'm sorry. Nicholas, let's, let's is take a step a back. Of shit. He's a fraud. He's not a Christian. He's a demon. Oh. <sighs> And, and, and I know Let's take a step he doesn't back. even have the right gospel, Bob. He's a free gracer. He doesn't even know the gospel. He doesn't have the right gospel. Right. Neither does Kevin. Right. Yeah, yeah. Neither so what, what is a free gracer versus the true gospel? Like, what's the distinction? It's the separation of justification and sanctification. They claim that sanctification is not essential to justification, that you can be justified, believe for a nanosecond, be locked into the faith, and then go around murder raping and still be saved. So they completely dissect, remove, and divorce sanctification from justification, where we claim that sanctification is a necessary follow-through from the presence of justification. They deny that. They also deny okay. the concept of fiducia in faith. They say it's only notitia and ascensus, which is understanding and acceptance. They What's fiducia? Fiducia is confidence or faith or trust. Oh, okay. They, they deny that as the concept of the gospel because they follow the novel Zane Hodges, Grace Evangelical Society gospel. They're vile, rancid, false gospel. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't need to hear all of the insults. Like, just give me the argument, okay? Oh, Bob, you're such a pathetic, soy-soaked simp. You know, the most blasphemous things come out of your can mouth. You, and I can you just give me them. the you argument? Know, no, no, no. Okay, I'll tell you what, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. From now on, when you say a blasphemous or profane thing against God, I'm going to react the way you do. Okay? So I'm going to police your speech. When you say okay. disgusting things about my holy God, I'm going to call you out for what you are, and I'm going to stop you. Okay, deal? Sure, yeah, yeah. If you do okay. it the same way I do, that, that seems fair. Oh, if I do it? No, I won't do it the same way, because, again, I'm not a pathetic, weak, feeble man like you, Bob. So, no, I'll do it my way. And you don't, and you don't dictate. You don't dictate my methodology to me, sir. I, I didn't. I didn't. And dictate if you don't it, like it, you can I, piss off like it, like the rest of the times. So for all I, for all I care, Bob, you have no value to me, and I don't think you're going to change. Okay. I I understand your hatred of me. I hate your doctrine. But, I hate your doctrine. I hate the fact that you constantly hold to it like some sort of blanket. That that. I appreciate the distinction. I despise it. I despise I your doctrine. I despise the doctrinal things that come out of your filthy mouth. I hate them. Okay. I appreciate the distinction. Do, do you believe? Well, okay. No, that doesn't matter. It, 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 I hurts that you, it hurts that you dig into it, Bob. That's what ends up making it go to this level. It's not just that you believe it. It's that you really, really believe it. You know? Yet you basically incorporate it as part of your person. And I don't care how nice you are or patient or what kind mannerisms or what word usages you choose. None of that matters. Okay. Because the only thing I'm worried about that scripture tells me, it's not about cuss words or using vulgar phrases or euphemisms. There's no command against that anywhere in scripture at all. See, I don't lie. I don't need to lie and 
fabricate crap about these clowns. I just work with what they give me. And these people have to lie. And, and the apostles really? have plenty of vulgar terms to describe vulgar people at vulgar times. What there is a command against is making holy things profane. That's what the Bible's concerned with. It doesn't okay. want us to take holy things. And that's what you do every day you draw breath. You Every day you live, you're an offense to the faith in my eyes, Bob. So I stomach that. In your I, eyes, that may be true. Sure. Since I, I stomach, I don't, well, well make, let me make, make my point. Since I can stomach the incredible offense to existence that I see you to be, I think you can stomach me choosing whatever methodology I see fit for the appropriate time, right? Because I, no, I, 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 I think I stomach how gross you are, you should be able to stomach me. I think that's fair. No, I, I think the level at which you um, accelerate your language or elevate your language. Um, I don't to, care what you think. I don't care what you think about what I do. You just, you just acted as though give you me did. Bible. Give did me you Bible try to present me an argument? Up. Give me Bible or shut the hell up. I don't care about what you think about what I do. I've only tried to talk about the Bible. No, in terms of telling me what you think I should do, give me Bible or I don't care. If, you're, if your opening statement starts with, I think, you can go ahead and stop. Nothing else after that matters. You can, you can show fair. me scripture that, that you think can deal with what I'm doing or what you think I'm doing wrong, or you can shut the hell up about it. That's what I would say. Okay, that's fair. So let's, let's, just, let's just step back and, okay, let's go to the Bible. So, you have a problem with, well, is this really the thing that this this is it? Is it well, only Bob, open theism? Uh, I don't, Bob, I don't know what other crazy things you believe. This is the one that you dug into. I can tell you. The most about. I don't know. You might have some crazy divergent gospel beliefs like the crazy free gracers. He's a dispensationalist, a hyper dispensationalist. Okay, I'm well, not that's hyper. probably a little bit of a problem, too, at some level. I don't know. I'd have to dissect it to know for sure. I don't know how consistent you are with it. I mean, not but, hyper. Yeah, not hyper. All right, well, well, Bob, the point is you got you got some issues somewhere in the toolbox that I'm not a big fan of. And plus, you're perfectly fine dancing around in obliviousness to, to Nicholas, to Kevin Blah, to SFT. These people are rampant antinomians. I mean, of the ilk of the first century preached against by Irenaeus. These people are vile clowns. They're splitting the essence of the human nature to try and defend the idea that they can remain sinless, even in willful rebellion to God. These people wait. are just another version of false gospel bearing fraud. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what do you mean about splitting human nature? Okay, so like they would say something like, well, you can't sin because you're the new man. When you sin, it's only your old man that sins. You've heard him say that? Yes. That was the Gnostic heresy of the first century that Irenaeus was preaching against. Because they were living, living an antinomian lifestyle, believing they could live any way they want because they were spiritual beings. And the spiritual essence of them couldn't be damaged by what the body did. So if they you, willfully rebelled and sinned, it wasn't them that was doing it. It was just their flesh. And the free gracers used that exact same Gnostic framework in their arguments. Exactly. Can you prove that that is incorrect in the Bible? Uh, because when, when you say that, there's there's an immediate verse that, that comes to my mind. Um, that the flesh is actually you? What's that? That the flesh isn't actually you? I know the verse they're getting it from where it talks about putting on the new man. It's it's not this thing they try to present it with this literal division where it's you're not like, the verse oh, that I would use. well, it's my, my flesh is not really me. No, it is you. What you choose well, to do is I... you doing it. I mean, this is just even basic common sense. Do you remember? I, it's in it's in Romans. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Paul says uh, that which I hate, I do. That which I want to do, I, I can't. I can't find it. Yeah, he. Yes, he's talking about the struggle with incidental issues. How he is sanctified, struggling against the flesh, not willfully giving into it. They say you can willfully give into it in perpetuity and have your salvation. 
That's an interesting question. Yes. Do you do you it's remember the question? Verse? What's the question? I was I well, was well, the que discussing it's obviously a question because there's a disagreement. That that's all I'm saying. Are you a free gracer? I bought, is Bob a free gracer? Praise? Did we just stumble on this one now? Are you a free gracer? Well, you grace you can is lose free. Your salvation, Bob. Do you believe you can that's lose what your grace salvation? is? Grace is free. No, of the camp of like what's his name? There's um, Sean McVeigh or Sean. I'm sorry, Sean Lazar. Yeah, Sean Lazar, Bob Wilkin, those type of guys. You said that you followed them. I thought one time might be wrong though. I don't know the names. The Grace Evangelicals. I'll, I'll give you clarity if you're interested. I'll, I'll tell you what I think. I think that once you believe the gospel, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. Okay, there we go. I that's free grace. That's free grace. That's that's that, the that's a that verse of the Bible. That's Ephesians two thirteen. Well, yeah, but you complete no, but you will see. We take the well, whole. You want to interrupt me, and I'm not giving you the whole clarity. I, Bob, you are, you gave all the clarity you needed. We needed. I quoted grace. a verse in the Bible. No, you gave your position as to being silent. No, I the literally, that you okay, believe. after that you believe with, okay, you know what, I'll, I'll pull it up, okay? Bob, you're not Look, listening. you want to fight me on this I know thing. where you're I'll going. I'll give you the exact I, verse, Bob, the exact wording. No, Bob, no, 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 you're done. I already know what your theology is. You don't need to explain No, it you don't. You, do. you have no idea because you won't listen. Bob, you what you just said is literally a free grass, free grace, OSAS talking point. Like it's a verse verbatim. in the Bible. In okay. whom ye also trusted. This is Ephesians 1 13. I'm okay, sorry, it was Bob. not Ephesians 2. No, listen, I'm reading scripture in Ephesians 1 13. This is scripture word for word. In whom ye also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also that at, no, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. This is what makes it so hard to deal with Bob. <laughs> because I read the Bible. That's what I opened up with. I was now I have a clarifier. Three minutes ago. I knew exactly where he was going three minutes ago before you had to do this. And he's like, let no, me finish. Didn't. I don't lie. Give me Bible or shut the hell up. I don't care about what you think about what I do. I've only tried to talk about the Bible. No, in terms of telling me what you think I should do, give me Bible or I don't care. Did you grow up in a Jehovah's Witness household? No, you have all the traits of a sinner, and yet you claim to be a Christian. I didn't even know it. I've, I've lost 100 pounds over the last eight months. I don't think you're a Christian. Okay. Well, I think you pretended I, I, I'm to be one. enough in my faith, Jesse, where that, that critique doesn't really No, affect. because you act like a sinner, and yet you claim to be saved. I don't lie. I don't need to lie and fabricate crap about these clowns. I just work with what they give me. And these people have to lie and gossip 